everyone, I'm going to do another installment of my empties series for you. Today I'm going to do a series of Bath and Body Works and I have in this bag a whole assortment of bath and body products that I've used up and I want to share my experiences with you guys. If you guys are interested in my other empties videos, go ahead and link them below. I have a makeup empties, a skincare empties, and a hair empties. Let's go ahead and get started in my Bath and Body empties. So I will start off with one of my absolute favorite, favorite body products and it is the Frederick Fakai Shea Butter Body Butter. And it is probably the most amazing body butter I have ever used in my life. It is slightly expensive. It is for this container it's probably about $65, $70. This is such an amazing product. It makes your skin feel absolutely amazing. It makes you smell so good. It makes you smell like you're clean, but like angelic clean. I don't know how to explain it, but it just, it, oh, it smells so good. I've gotten compliments on it once before. The real reason why I know about this product is because Selma Hayek wore it one time when she went on an interview with Oprah, and Oprah just was like, you smell amazing, what do you wear? And Selma Hayek told her she, told her she wore this, and next thing you know is it's on Oprah's favorite things, and it was very hard to find. But it is probably one of my most favorite beauty products ever. It just smells absolutely amazing and makes your skin feel so good. I spend my money every now and then and buy this and indulge every now and then. It's something I'm probably going to use for the rest of my life and I'm going to repurchase. I don't use it every single day. I use it on special occasions because it is so expensive but if you ever are looking for an a just indulgent gift for yourself or for someone else, Frederick Fakai's Shea Body Butter is this the way to go. Ugh, it is such a win. So I have two Bath and Body Work products to share with you. I have the Aromatherapy Stress Relief Body Wash and Foam Bath, and then I have the Sea Island Cotton Triple Moisture Body Cream. I'll start off with the foam bath. I never really use this so much as a body wash. I more use it for bubble bath purposes. I loved it. I think it just it was so nice. It it created lots of um, nice suds and also it just smells really nice. This is in the scent Sandalwood Rose. And so it, it smells definitely rose-like but it's a little bit of sandalwood which I feel like if guys want to use it they don't have to feel like they're using a feminine product but it's nice and it's not really girly but like just unisex and nice and relaxing more than anything. It's, it's just it was a super relaxing scent so if I was looking to have a bath where I just wanted to zone out and just have a relaxing nice time. This is definitely what I poured in my bath. I am a big bath person so this was, it got used up quite quickly. Loved it. The next bath and body product that I have to share with you is the Sea Island Cotton Triple Moisture Body Cream. I've used this product for years. I love the cotton scent and I just feel like if you use it after you shower or bathe it just makes you feel so much more cleaner and just fresher and I just love that scent and something I've shared before on my empties but I'll share again is when I have a tube of a product what I tend to do is I cut it in half. You just won't believe after like you know you keep squeezing the product and nothing comes out how much is actually left in both ends of this product. And once you cut it you will have to use it within the next definite week because the product will go off but if you're at the end of your tube, you might as well just do that and just get the last little bit of your, of your product. <laughs> I just stretched my product to the very last moment of its life and I definitely would recommend this product if you are someone who like just to smell clean. This is a great good moisturizing body cream that will make you feel and smell very clean. The next product is one of my absolute faves and it is the L'Occitane almond shower gel. Oh, it smells so good. I actually realized that there's probably enough for almost another shower in here and I almost want to squeeze the very very last bit of this out. It smells so good. This is unlike most products that you see out there because it is an oil. It's a cleansing oil for your body. So what basically you do is you get a luva, you get something like that, you squeeze a little bit of this product into it and it starts to suds up. It's an oil that suds up. So it's just, it's extra moisturizing, it's extra just nourishing to your skin. On top of all that, it smells so divine. I am a huge almond scent lover. 
pretty much anything almond scent I just go for. I just think it smells absolutely beautiful and when I found out about this product I had to have it. This is probably one of my ultimate all-time beauty favorite products. The next product I want to talk about is my Travelo Perfume Atomizer. I purchased this maybe a year and a half ago and basically the idea of it is that it has a bottom end that you will stick over any perfume that you have, you take the cap off the perfume and just kind of pump it onto it and it will fill the atomizer with your perfume and you can kind of take your any of your favorite perfumes you can take on the go, you can mix and match your perfumes within this little bottle and I think this is a absolutely splendid idea. I think it is such a good idea. However, this particular Traveler sucks. It sucks. It sucks so much. I I hate it. I don't, I don't know. I ever use it. I don't ever like to use it. Um, I gave it quite a few shots and I'm over it. I'm not saying that all Travelos suck, but this one does. And what would happen with it is that it, it would just like leak out from the, t like the top right here a lot and when I went to go spray it, it really wouldn't spray at all. It just kind of felt like it was like really hard to push down on. When I went to go pump the Travelo on top of any of my perfumes, it kind of was messy as well. So it would definitely get perfume into the Travelo bottle, but it would also get perfume outside. And I didn't really like that as well. So this particular Travelo is my only experience with Travelo products, but this one sucked. The last product, the last body product that I have to show you today is the Josen Marin Whipped Argan Oil Be Joyful in the scent Vanilla Apricot. I love this product. I thought it smelled so good. I I like apricots kind of, but I didn't realize how much I loved them until I got this product. And it's completely empty, completely bare, but you can still smell it somewhat and it smells so 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 good. The vanilla kind of cut the apricot and it just it just the scent was just uh, so so divine. It was extremely moisturizing and the scent kind of lasted for quite some time on my skin and I would definitely repurchase this in a bigger size. I got this in a sample, so I got to try it out. But I think that this product is definitely a good, good find. It just leaves my skin feeling so nice and so moisturized. And I feel like the scent is just very, very unique and amazing smelling. I would recommend this product to anyone who is looking for a very extremely moisturizing body oil. So thank you for watching my bath and body empties. I hope you guys got a little bit more input of all these products that you might be wondering about. If you have any more specific questions that I didn't answer, please go ahead and put them in the comment bar below and I'll go ahead and get to those. But thank you so much again and I do appreciate you guys watching and I hope you guys have a wonderful, beautiful day and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.